I got a big head. I'm blessed. Hi guys, I hope you're doing wonderful and I hope you're having a great week or a great weekend, whatever it is. I hope that this video finds you well. And it's been a while since I've done an empties or a project pan, otherwise known as a video where I show you guys products that I've emptied up. Because it's one thing me coming on here and showing you products that I think are good and that I recommend. But do I actually use these products? And if so, would I repurchase them? And um, would I recommend them? Oh. So if you want to know what products I've been using since my last empties video, I've actually done two in the past and I have the playlist and I will link it down in the down bar and you can see my past empties videos. And uh, I invite you to stay tuned because I'm about to introduce myself briefly in French as usual. So I'll see you guys soon. Salut les amis, salut, salut à tous. J'espère que vous allez bien. Et vous savez bien que sur ma chaîne, j'aime bien faire le, les vidéos où je vous montre si j'utilise vraiment les produits que je vous montre et si je leur utilise à fond. Ça m'aide à savoir si j'aime les produits ou pas. Ça m'aide à savoir si c'est un produit à racheter ou non. Alors, ça me donne aussi l'occasion de mieux maîtriser mes préférences dans le sens que ce soit pour le corps le make-up ou bien juste pour le soin de la peau ou même le soin du, du visage. Pour préciser, je vais séparer cette vidéo en trois parties. Il y aura un pour le, le maquillage, un pour le soin de visage et puis un pour le soin du corps et des cheveux. Je ne voulais pas mélanger parce que la vidéo allait être très longue. Donc j'ai voulu séparer pour mieux faciliter la tâche pour nous. Donc j'espère bien que vous allez aimer et puis ah, Donc j'aime bien faire, j'aime faire les petits paniers de, de make-up pour la semaine et c'est là où j'essaie je, beaucoup de mes produits et ça me permet aussi de limiter mes achats parce que sur ma chaîne c'est bien de vous montrer ce que j'aime à bonne qualité et tout mais je vous encourage toujours d'aller faire le shopping juste quand on en a besoin c'est pas parce qu'on a vu la vidéo qu'on fait le shopping c'est toujours quand on a besoin on voit la vidéo on se renseigne et puis après on se lance mais toutefois sachant que il faut utiliser ces produits parce que en utilisant vos produits ça vous permet de savoir si ça marche avec votre peau ou pas et là vous avez l'occasion de retourner le produit si ça ne marche pas avec vous à temps parce qu'il y a les délais donc c'est bien de faire les petits baskets de pour essayer les produits que vous achetez et aussi et quand on utilise les produits ça nous permet de maîtriser nos préférences et aussi de limiter les achats si surtout si on veut économiser et être plus sage financièrement donc voilà pourquoi je fais les, les vidéos pour vous montrer comment j'utilise mes produits et aussi je fais ces vidéos pour ne pas vous tromper parce que je veux que vous sachiez que si c'est bien avec moi je l'utilise et je l'utilise à fond et si c'est pas bien je vais vous dire pourquoi et je vais vous dire si je vais retourner ça ou pas ou bien ou bien si c'est pas un produit que je vous recommande pour le futur j'ai eu à faire deux vidéos dans le passé en ce qui concerne les produits que j'ai utilisé à fond il y a deux vidéos sous la barre d'infos dans le lien qui lit empties ou project pan donc il y aura le lien de, de ces deux vidéos sous la barre d'infos si vous voulez voir donc voilà c'est tout pour cette vidéo si vous avez des produits que vous aimez beaucoup que, que vous avez utilisé à fond faites des commentaires on ne sait jamais ça peut aider quelqu'un ou même moi et c'est tout donc merci encore on va voir hein, ce que j'ai utilisé là tout à l'heure et puis n'oubliez pas surtout de liker et partager et revenez si vous êtes intéressé bien sûr et on n'oublie jamais le bon dieu parce que c'est lui qui est notre force il n'y a pas de il n'y a pas de c'est lui qui fait notre force merci encore Mouah. ciao bye bye all right guys so i'm just gonna go through it quickly i'm gonna show you what i've used up in terms of skincare so i'm gonna have a skincare one i'm also gonna have a makeup one a makeup one is gonna be a little bit shorter because with makeup you can't really use too much this is what i've used over the past couple of months and since my last empties video and also i'm gonna have a body and hair one coming up I I didn't want to combine them because it would be too long so I hope and I'll be doing this more consistently because again we're doing intentional hauls we're learning how to shop we're learning how to budget we're learning how to coupon we're shopping only when it's necessary we're only watching my videos so that when we are prepared we buy then it's not an impulse shop type of thing it's more of an informative guide to shop and that also goes into are we using the product so I invite you guys to do beauty baskets I have a beauty basket and every week I rotate my beauty products because that allows you to see 
how much you have if you actually use it and if you don't you can get rid of it you can gift it you can resell you know you can recycle whatever it is but doing a beauty basket if you're a makeup lover it's a good thing you don't want to just buy because social media tells you to buy that is the worst thing to do okay guys so you want to make sure that when you do a beauty basket you're going to learn what you love you're going to get better at it and then it's going to also keep you at bay in terms of spending at least for me it has helped monitor my spending and if i don't finish something then i have to wait until i finish it to add more or also it in terms of if i don't like it i already know this can go back to the store because if i didn't like it within that return time frame so i hope you guys enjoy it so let's go let's get right into it so the first thing i always use vaseline so as you guys see here whether it's in the tube I like tubes because tubes are really really good for traveling in terms of getting all the products out tubes are not as convenient so you lose more but I definitely like this any type I usually get this from Bed Bath & Beyond or CVS also has one or even Walmart or even Target so definitely try it out so Vaseline is always a good must it's good for almost anything that you need in your lips next you guys all you know I'm exiting with this I have one more to finish up after that I'm using a different face product but that's just the Palmer's face wash as usual you guys know i do like it but it's not longer doing much for my skin so i'm definitely gonna exit but if you do want it it's a good product next we have this scent as exfoliate and nourish scrub for your face you guys know i did a video on this before and i reviewed it i'll link it down below as well it's a great brand it's a great product but as i'm getting into skincare i am really looking into the ingredients I've come to find out actually that this is not as natural or as great as they claim to be. It's a little bit more rougher. So in terms of what I'm looking to use right now, I feel like there are better products than this. It's good, you know, if you're a drugstore starter, you're, you're on a budget, it's, it's good, right? But if I would recommend something better, which is like anything that I've talked about in my recent skincare videos, which I'll link down below as well, you will find that there are better products out there. Again, would I still use this if I had to? Of course, but now that I'm more knowledgeable, I wouldn't buy it because I know that my skin can do better with more natural and organic products as well as better ingredients. So I hope you guys understand what i'm saying so it's good but it's not something that i will purchase because of my knowledge now versus then okay next we have the clinique clarifying toning lotion so this is like a toner i don't know what they call it lotion i had bought this in, in the past haul and i talked to you guys about it it is a good toner but again i recommend it very good for sensitive skin they have one for different skin skin types but again i've told you guys recently that i'm really into skincare and ingredients and i found a better one which i'm going to test out so if you want to know more about that just stay tuned or watch my recent uploads and you will see the new product that i'm using again great product but i'm just you know again i'm stepping on up you know i'm getting better at my skincare routine and what i like and my preferences guys i don't know how many of these sprays i've gone through but this is the Mario Bades cool I think I said that right facial spray and this one has aloe and cucumber and green tea and this is actually my favorite one this is the one I prefer I use this almost every day I think everybody needs a facial spray in their routine especially if you do makeup or even just to refresh your face throughout the day I feel like this is a really good product as you can see I ran through it and I would definitely recommend it especially because at all times they do have sales on them so I just stock up then and save a hefty amount on that so it's definitely good to set your makeup it's just good to refresh your skin it's really good it really does melt in your makeup and acts as a setting spray very very nice elf wipes you guys know i love my elf wipes i've gotten through many of these and this is just another one right here and for the price with the discount on elf.com or even at any store it's amazing love it love it for the price and yeah so it looks like i actually have two elf wipes as you can see very very convenient because i also don't like using liquids because even when you're traveling it's just a lot a lot and it's also more expensive you buy the cotton pads and you gotta open the bottle and a lot of them tend to leak out because they don't have a stopper so i just feel like this is just much more convenient and 
economical as well so any wipes that works is better for me i mean i do have the liquid ones but i prefer the wipes so as you can see i have two the, that's the salt me eye gel pads this came three in a pack from a boxy charm box and i was actually skeptical to try it out but guys i actually really really like how relaxing this was under my eye and why i really like this is because it actually sat under my eyes and did not move and allowed it to work which was very very important to me because other ones in the past just tend to just fall off and it's discouraging to use so i really really did like this this, this was actually a good good one for my subscription box again i have my playlist for my subscription box down below check them out if you are interested i actually tried this for the first time the elf hydrating cleansing cloth i like it because it's also alcohol free but it wasn't really much of a difference i think i like the other ones better but this was also good as well i mean i don't see why not with the sale it was good so i definitely recommend this as well if you watched my past elf haul you know that i got this and it was my first time trying it on and i actually really really liked it for the price i was amazed at these um, elf hydrating water sheet mask and i used both of them and why i really also really like this is because it actually fit my face guys and it actually stayed put it's one thing doing one that can't fit my face and another problem if it doesn't stay but then it really was hydrating and for the price again with the discount on elf.com i can't be mad at this this was a great great product i really really, really do like this i would recommend this now i would repurchase this as well okay another sheet mask i I'm, I'm really into sheet masks right now as you can see if you watch my haul on this you saw that i got a lot of garnier products and i've heard a lot of good things about the garnier sheet masks and they're really good for traveling really good for quick pampering routines because you gotta pamper yourself throughout the week guys we do a lot as women we're busy in this world you gotta do it and this one is the moisture balm one as you guys know i have dry skin and then with the winter you gotta you know hydrate your skin as much as you can this was good um, it also definitely kept me hydrated and it also fit my face very well which i liked so kudos to garnier i would definitely restock on these especially because they have a lot of sales at cvs so yeah if you guys saw my sephora vib haul or whatever sale i had there was two sales this past winter with um sephora there was like a 25 dollars off 50 and then the vib sale and i think i got this during those two sales i have the video as well in my house playlist and i told you guys origins has really made me happy it's just that like, it's expensive it's they're natural but they're just pricey here i had the hydrator and the purifier mask and you guys know i love to purify once a week with that charcoal type of you know mask and i love hydration these masks were amazing i really think if you can get your hands on these these were just phenomenal so i definitely think they did just what they said they would do so this is definitely a repurchase for me these are the masks that were in this this box right here that's the activate charcoal one that i showed you before and this is just the um, bottom one which was the and then the one on the bottom was the intensive hydration so there you go these were bomb.com next again you know you guys know i was testing the origins line and this one is the refreshing scrub cleanser i really really like this as well guys really good for sensitive skin it really cleans my skin it's a soft exfoliant like you can use it every day so it's like a wash and an exfoliant in one so it makes your steps shorter and yeah and then again they're all natural so i really really like that even with the price i think it's a good product if you wanted to try it out then we have the pond's cream i used to use this a lot especially when i didn't know much about skincare and i definitely would recommend pond's and especially the the cleansing cream is also good as a makeup remover so i would definitely recommend it as well pond's is a great brand especially if you have sensitive skin and as you can see this is all done i've used it so many times but again because i'm changing my skincare routine i won't be repurchasing this right now but if i had to i would especially with the sales at cvs this is amazing i mean who doesn't like ponds they're just wonderful like if you're looking for something great from the drugstore there you have it look no further this is the nature's gentle dermabrasion like wash by origins and it's supposed to be good for sensitive skin i actually really didn't like this product i couldn't wait to get this as far away from my face as possible 
as soon as I just opened this, it burned my eyes. I don't know what it is in this product that made me so sensitive to it. I could not stand the smell. And I feel like it was stinging my face a little bit. I'm not sure if I was going through something. But I actually did not like this Origins product. I'm not sure what happened. But this is a no-go for me. No, no, no. Sorry. So this is a Glam Glow Foam Cleanser. I got this from a Sephora play box and I've really been liking the Glam Glow products. They're so expensive so when I get them from a Sephora play box I definitely try them out. This really kept my face really clean and I really really liked it. Like, I didn't react to it so that's always good. Again this is just a Glam Glow um, cleanser and I, I mean if I had the money I would buy it but since I don't I can't but if I get it again I will use it. If you guys wanted to because you can't afford it hey go right ahead doing the VIB sales and whatnot you might really enjoy Enjoy it. It's definitely a deep cleans and yeah, I like it. I never would recommend spending a lot on cleansers only because they only wash your face and get off instantly. So if you can, great. If you can't, it's not a huge deal. It's, it's what follows that matters the most to me. And this is the Clinique Moisture Surge. Again, I've talked about this many, many times. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Especially during the winter when you have dry skin. Oh my god, it's expensive, but you would thank me later. I think I showed you guys the Garnier one that was similar to that in the past haul um, from the drugstore if you were looking for one. Moisture Surge, although expensive, again, this is empty as you can see, but I love it. If I could afford it in my routine, I would definitely repurchase this, so it's a must buy. Brow Pencil in Brunette. I've tried this in Espresso, now I'm doing Brunette. I think I might do medium brown and let you guys know my final thoughts on these because I feel like they were too dark, especially because I have blonde and colorful hair all the time. So it's hard for me to match my hair and not look too harsh. But guys, this finished so fast and a lot of people raved about this and say it's similar to the NYX one or the Anastasia one. And it's cheap. It's only $5 and at CVS, um, you can get it with coupons. But I feel like it finishes so fast and I feel like the the color ranges are too dark like the espresso was way too dark the brunette is good but since i have like colorful hair i might go to the medium brown and i'll see but for the price and how fast it finishes i would recommend to do a cream instead of a pen because you would just be spending just as much money buying these all the time so just think about that so again this is the la girl shady slim brow pencil in brunette so there you go if the medium brown doesn't work, I, I wouldn't repurchase this because it just gets too pricey. So yeah, there you go with that. This is the e.l.f. Eye crease brush. I just kept it for you guys because these e.l.f. brushes, I swear people raved about them a lot. Granted, some of them, are they're good when they're working, but they don't last long. In the past empties video, I definitely swear I trashed like one or two brushes. And this one is already moving like look at that like it's, it's falling apart and then this brush right here just like pushed in as i kept rewashing it so you can't really use this at all so i just don't know once i'm done with my elf brushes i, I don't know if i'm gonna do it again because it becomes more pricey it's just pricey that you have to keep buying them even if you're doing it at a discount my real technique brushes i've had them for like five six years and they don't budge they really don't so if you're looking for great brushes from the drugstore just start with real techniques with coupons and stuff and the quality you'll be amazed this is going to be tossed and i'm i'm good with the elf brushes for now especially the one dollar ones once they break i'm done with them so there you go i bought a bunch of kirkland facial wipes because again the rave on youtube you guys saw a recent haul and i showed you guys that i just wanted to show you guys that i am still using them this is the first one that's done i've given some away as gift as well because people said they're so great this is inconvenient in the sense where it's not found everywhere it's only found at costco and not everybody wants to get a membership to get it a lot of people are young they just want to go to the store and just grab it so i would recommend the elf one way it's very available very affordable even without the discount this is okay but you can find a lot from the drugstore that do as well so that's my take on that last but not least i have the eco tools mask remover sponges and i got this from a walmart beauty box and there are just some things that get invented and you, and you look at it and you're like is this a gimmick or what it seems like it's silly and that's what i thought about this until 
it actually came with two and i already used the other one but this is so good to take off your masks if you're somebody who does masks every week like me you would love these because sometimes you do your mask and if you don't wash well it sticks and it's annoying and you don't want to go back in with a brush because it's going to be like too rough this is so nice to just cleanse that up and just take it off easily and fast so i really really like this oh my god guys it's amazing i didn't think i would like it but i was like check this out this is just amazing for removing your mask so i always get masks stuck in my neck stuck over here stuck over here in my hair so i just like these i didn't think i would i thought they were a gimmick but once i started giving it a chance i definitely thought it was something that i would repurchase again found these at Ulta or bed bath and beyond with coupons or even cvs it's amazing so that is my take on that and i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you've tried anything here let me know if you have anything else that you recommend that you've emptied up let me know if you do have a beauty basket of things that you hope to empty up comment down below please and i'd love to hear from you and i always thank you for watching and liking and commenting and coming always with more audience we love that we love to see you here and we love to see you praise always thank god he is our strength and always i'll see you guys next time thank you so much again for watching and mwah, bye so when they put you to the test just do your best and let god do the rest and enemies stress i'm a living witness i'm the proof nothing is impossible and that's the truth you can achieve if you plan to if i can make it man you can too